Hello and welcome to Glorious Miniatures and in today's video we'll be painting up the torch that Hexbane himself carries. So we'll be doing some sort of fire effects. So without further ado, let's just get stuck into it. All right, the, here is Haskell Hexbane and here is the torch he's carrying. So we've got some white ink right here. We're going to mix that round about, I don't know, 50-50 with some white scar. Whatever it takes so that it flows nicely. I like to use white ink to thin down uh, white paint because instead of using just water it actually keeps it a nice high count of white pigments in there and it makes it flow better so it's a it's a good compromise in that regard so get that over all of the flames we're not going to be doing any osl with this just to clarify this is a sort of relatively quick and dirty flame painting technique if that's what you want to call it nice couple of even coats of this white wait for each individual there to dry obviously before going back and making sure that we got a nice sort of opaque finish. Missed a couple more bits just to make that color a bit more opaque. All right, and we zoomed in extra nice. So as you can see, we've got nice white in those dark recesses and we're going to move on to dawn yellow. We're going to do a heavy dry brush, although I start off quite light for some reason. Got this dry brush. It is, uh, it's going to do the job with starting off very gently for some reason. We should be just going all over the shop with this color. It's going to be the very basis for all of the, all of the next layers. So make sure we got a good coverage. I do I do end up leaving probably a bit too much white in the deepest recesses of this, and I don't want any. I don't really want to leave any white at the ends of the flames, like right here where I'm painting. This is a bit of an old dry brush that I have. It does the trick, but normally I would use a sort of soft makeup brush. I've got a few of those lying around from when I did special makeup effects. But uh, so I've got a few of those lying around and this is just an ancient sort of actual it was sold as a dry brush. So I've got to use it. Otherwise, it's just going to end up never being used. So here we go. <laughs> Making sure it's got nice coverage over the entire thing. Taking a bit longer than really required, but we'll get there in the end. I think we did get a bit of looks like we did get a bit of white yellow on that torch handle. I will fix that after we've finished painting the fire that goes without saying etc but we're going to move on to troll slayer orange we would like a nice bright orange color this is going to fit the build pretty close to riser rust by the looks of it so we're going to start dry brushing on this color making sure we work from the tip of the flame towards like i'm going to call that part the center of the flame might not be the accurate word but that's where we're going to what i'm going to call it so work that from the ends of the fire back towards the center Want to make sure we got good coverage. We do want to leave some of this yellow in the kind of recesses close to the white. So don't go completely mad with it. Just employ a tiny bit of control. Okay, I'm going quite a bit heavier at the that point. End of the fire. End of the fire? Whatever you call it. The tips of the fire. Do go a bit thicker, a bit more heavy with the orange right there. I think in the at some point I come around and just decide to make sure I get a good coat over everything, leaving a bit of a bit more yellow in the recesses rather than a bit more white in the recesses. So here we go, adding more orange, changing the angle that I brush from. So rather than just going from the top downwards, go from the bottom upwards. I think personally, currently there's a bit too much white in those recesses. So hopefully I'm going to come back and fix that up. Being slightly lighter with that orange, the center of the fire right there. Then we're going to move on to Evil Sun Scarlet. This is going to be, I don't want to say the cooler part of the fire, but <laughs> it's an important part. We've got to get worked in. We don't want to cover the entire thing. We do, but we do want a decent amount of red starting from the tip of the fire, working towards the center of the fire. But in the, I guess the cooler parts in the scheme of things, we want to paint red. So you can work that red back towards the center, getting slightly more gentle as you move along there. As you can see, I have put some red along there. It's really, really a personal taste thing. I almost went with a different colored fire entirely. Now we're gonna use some Abaddon Black to paint the sort of ends, the colder parts of the fire, if so to speak, or the oily, smoky parts of the fire. So we're gonna do a dry brush. We're gonna work from the very tips. We're gonna bring that black towards the sort of center, the the actual burning part of the torch. So dry brush from the very ends, we're gonna go over the red, tiny bit over the orange parts, and we're gonna refine the shape and look of this fire. 
And if I pull up a reference image of a oil torch, you can see there isn't really a huge amount of red going on, but there's definitely sort of darker bits at the end. More of a sort of whitish to orange, with a tiny bit of black in there, but it is a miniature. You do have to sort of push those contrasts, push those colors a bit more. So adding the red is kind of important. And uh, but bringing the black in it is a huge help. It does increase the contrast, but it's entirely up to you at the end of the day. It's how you want things to look. I find reference does help a lot. But here is the end of this stage, I think. Maybe a tiny bit more black there will help. And that's about it. All right, here is the mini. As he's looking so far, it's pretty good. Pretty basic, but it's pretty good. We're going to go back to the Troll Slayer Orange and we're going to start refining these shapes of the fire, sort of tracing along. Hopefully, we're going to be removing some extra parts of the white that we've got there. We've probably got a bit, honestly, I think we've got a bit too much white in the sort of, I'm calling it the center of the, of the torch. My own personal taste. I would also say at this point, if you have access to it, you could potentially use fluorescent paints as well instead of Troll Slayer Orange, you could use a fluorescent orange, or indeed a fluorescent red, or indeed a fluorescent yellow in various parts of this. I'm just using the Games Workshop paints. I do have fluorescent paints myself. I do like to use them. But it's, now is definitely a good chance to use those if you wish. To sort of blend in, just do thin layers going over those previous colors. Add a bit more sort of luminescence, a bit more brightness to it. So I'm trying to shape the fire a little bit more with this orange color, trying to blend a couple of these colors together. Some of it definitely was a bit too rough with the dry brushing, but that tends to be just an effect of the dry brushing of the technique itself. So coming back and refining later on is pretty much a necessity. Unless, of course, you're quite happy with it looking like that. If you've got a bunch of these miniatures to paint up and you just want them on the tabletop, just leaving them dry brushed would be an absolutely valid move. You can see there's slightly too much yellow in that bit right there, even if it is slightly blurry. So I think we're just refining with the orange at the moment. You can always jump up and down, bring in a bit of white in if you really want. You could you could bring in a bit more yellow if you wish. You could bring in some more red and black. As your heart desires, just work, work the shapes until you, you're happy with the result. A bit of a, it's a bit of a juggling act, especially with fire. I think it can the fact that it's it moves and behaves differently under different sort of situations. It's kind of a hard thing to paint sometimes, as I think I said earlier, or I certainly meant to. I was considering going with a different color fire. At one point, I almost went with a sort of a blue, and then I considered a green fire. Then I remembered he's a he's a witch hunter. He's probably not into sort of weird things which might look magical. So he's just going just going with the standard oily stick thing. Which is why the ends of the fire are black. It's sort of oily. Oily, smoky fire. That's my excuse. That's my reasoning for it. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do narrative to explain it, you can do that. And we are getting there. As I said, we didn't do any, we haven't done any OSL. You could absolutely do that. Now would probably be the time using probably the orange, maybe a bit of the red, just glaze the side of the face, side of the hat. I always, I'm doubtful about using OSL. It's not something I generally do. Because when I do see it quite a lot and it's, it doesn't quite look right to me. So that's why I'm hesitant about doing it myself because I like it to look as well as I can. And if I, if I think it looks wonky, then it doesn't it doesn't work for me. So um, that's why I don't do it very often. It's definitely something I'm going to learn. And once I've figured it out, I'm going to hopefully teach it to other people. So happy days there. This is coming to the end. Just work those colors as I'm doing. End up with a nice result. Hopefully like this. Folks, thanks very much for hanging out with me today as we painted up Hexbane's torch. I know it's a sort of somewhat basic video, but uh, with my current situation, I'm having to do a bunch of sort of shorter videos. I do have some footage reserved that I'm going to hopefully be able to edit and upload in the future. But currently, my time is incredibly limited, so I'm trying to keep content coming out. 
but that content is going to be shorter. So I do apologize for that. However, if you don't want to miss out the future videos and carry on supporting me, do make sure you've checked below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, all that sort of YouTube fun stuff. And uh, that's basically all I got to say. Thank you very much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.